Hey guys, it's Eric with Bricksville. So today we're going to be reviewing set 79110, the Silver Mine Shootout from the Lone Ranger. So this set was available from April 2013 to December 2013, so not very long. Uh, and it's based on a movie that same year. So pretty much it came out, didn't do well, and went away. So it originally went for $69.99. Uh, now, if you want it, it's about $120 new and about $85 used. So we're going to look at, with such a short run, was this set really so bad? Or maybe what was the cause of that? So stay tuned. The set includes five minifigs. From left to right, we have Kyle. Uh, then we have Butch Cavendish. And Kyle is actually his, like, little henchman. Then you have, and which Butch uh, has a pretty detailed face and a really awesome uh like hair piece uh, with the hair and hat combo, which I wish they would do more often. Uh, even with, uh, I mean, we'll see other figs in the set. Then you have Tonto, which does a really good job of capturing Johnny Depp's character in there. Just the facial expressions and everything. It just, chef's kiss. <laughs> then you've got Big Bear, which is honestly, uh, this is the exclusive one to the set and is an amazing minifig. Um, it's really popular with people trying to make Western scenes because it looks a little bit more authentic than a lot of the other uh, Lego Native American minifigs. Uh, but his role, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more later, his role really wasn't in this scene. They kind of just threw it in because it was a nice minifig and where else would you put him? Uh, but then the last one is the Lone Ranger, which I wish they had done some kind of hair piece because it just looks like he is bald in here. Uh, but he and Tonto both have uh, the dust on their um, jacket and pants, uh, which in this scene, they came out of the mine. So that, that goes pretty well. So I want to take a quick second to talk about this minifig. So this is Johnny Depp as Tonto. Uh, but as I said before, it is actually very accurate to, uh, to him, even with the facial expressions, just kind of like, ah, <laughs> it captures his acting perfectly. Uh, some people do say that this uh, minifig can be offensive um, because it is uh, Johnny Depp playing a Native American. Um, other people say that it is, I mean, it's accurate to the source material, the old uh, Lone Ranger show. So I'll kind of leave that up to you, but I uh, just wanted to acknowledge that this minifig can be controversial to some people. For accessories in the set, there's two that, uh, that really stand out. So you have the tomahawk, uh, that uh, Tonto has here. It has a little cut edge on the bottom. They came out with some other really examples in CMFs later, but uh, this one is kind of a, a really good mold. But then the one that I really like is the six shooter pistol right here, and it comes in two different colors in this set. So the dark bluish gray and then the flat silver. So those are miles beyond the mold that they've used uh, kind of throughout time where it, those other ones are just big, bulky. These ones are more realistic and accurate to the actual pistols used in the show and then also just in history. So then to the main mine. So with this, it has um, honestly some of the best play features that I've seen in a while for a set. Uh, now, this is wildly inaccurate to the movie itself. They took uh, essentially the only thing that's accurate to the movie is the minecart in the front. Uh, which you can launch out of the front, which is honestly, you got to really hit this thing to launch it all the way out. But in the movie, uh, the Tonto and Lone Ranger load up a cart with uh, dynamite and then push it out. The bad guys get close to it. It blows up in their face. So that this right here recreates that whole idea. But everything else about this uh, the office up above, the mine in the back, the waterfall. As far as what I remember, and I, I just watched clips before doing this, um, it's not really accurate. <laughs> but uh, even with that, um, I'm glad they added it because it'd be a pretty boring set if they went completely accurate to the scene. But there's different dynamite points at different sections. And what I really like is, so this section here, if you don't put the dynamite into this hole here, you can push the the launch bar all you want and nothing happens but if you load the dynamite in there and then you push it that pushes up and then the whole section launches off so that was a really cool thing that you could like without the dynamite 
that would uh, that's not exploding out. But then you have the waterfall under here, which leads through to a secret cavern that I'll show later, but they've got like different water elements here. And then on this side, they have a little uh, thing that you can launch dynamite with. So you can do that. And then the little thing up here, it definitely takes a while, but you can lower this bucket down uh, and then it can move all the way around. And then up here, you have like a little office place, which we'll see the inside in a second. But then it's got a skull up here, which is a pretty nice piece in and of itself. So then for the back, we this is where you can kind of see the whole layout. Uh, now up here, we have like a little kitchen area, a little stove pipe up here, and then a ladder for them to get up into uh, the mine itself. Over here, there's just kind of like a work area. You've got shovels and pickaxes and uh, a bottle that's uh, probably officially not alcohol, but it definitely is. <laughs> and then up here we have a slide, which Kyle can get away from his boss uh, by sliding down there into the cart. You could also probably load silver up there, uh, but this, this kind of helps bridge over to the gap to there. Now, in this area here, uh, that you can connect dynamite to the wall, and then when you turn this barrel, it'll launch out. So if they weren't standing there, it'd fall. the whole wall would fall down, and then kind of gets jammed here. But the whole wall falls down, so then reveals the silver hidden within. Then over to the right, uh, I put Big Bear here, because honestly he doesn't have a role in this scene. <laughs> so I figured I'd give him uh, somewhere to be, but he's in the secret cavern down to the right with all of the silver hidden. So they use a lot of the uh, the metallic silver uh, in the crystals and then also in studs and just different pieces down here to represent all the silver that's not found yet. So then up top, there's a boulder which has silver inside of it, but you can launch it with this kind of trap door up here. When you push up, it will <laughs> launch it all the way off the table which I have no idea where it went, so I'm going to have to find that in a second, but it will launch it for sure. <laughs> so overall, I love this set. I think that the, the short run was really tied to the fact that this was based on a movie that didn't do well. Uh, the play features in here, the minifig selection, uh, the accessories, I mean, especially when you look at those guns, uh, I wish they would do those with every single set. Um, it's just a much more accurate kind of mold. But um, just all the different rooms and the way they imagined everything, I think it's a genuinely amazing set that if it, had been if it had been based on a more popular movie, would have done phenomenal. So that's kind of my overall thoughts. <laughs> so uh, definitely uh, stay tuned for more uh, news on Nextdoor. Uh, we're going to be walking through the whole process of building it uh, on this channel. And tell me what your thoughts are down below on, you know, what this set is, whether you uh, like it, if you think maybe some of the minifigs are problematic, like we talked about, um, or if it's fine. <laughs> it was just a different time. And honestly, uh, the acting of Johnny Depp in that was amazing. Uh, but uh, definitely subscribe, like, and share this video around. So thanks a lot.